Greetings, Angelo with Angelo's Workbench. Welcome back to the Ravel Corvette Stingray video series. This is video number five and the final video in the video series. At around the eight minute mark, we will have a slideshow that will show the completed shots of the car. In the meantime, here's how I did the Grand Sport stripes. So the car is finished in a lacquer red with lacquer clear. I'm going to use the Tamiya Acrylic X31 Titanium Gold, the same color that I used on the wheels, to do these Grand Sport stripes. I like using acrylic over a lacquer clear because if I make a mistake, I can very easily remove the stripes without damaging the clear coat and just simply begin again. And they don't need to be shiny since in the aftermarket, a lot of these stripes were put on as vinyl. Um, and they didn't have the same shine as the car, so I think it'll look fine. So what I'm doing now is just masking the top and bottom of the stripes, and I'm going to mask the two sides. The hardest part was coming up with the correct size stripe in the middle, the part that would remain red. Uh, and it took me several tries, but I did finally get it, and I think it came out pretty good, as you'll see here in a second. With the wheels installed in the chassis, we can now move on to the windshield glass as well as the headlights. Uh, the windshield glass was pre-finished in the kit, which gave an excellent look once uh, once applied into the body. Also, the way the headlights mounted was kind of interesting. The it was the same way on the C7R kit. The um, the clear parts that would cover the headlight mount in first, and they attach to these two round um, pins that are inside of the body. And then the headlights themselves, the, the shiny part that would mount behind the glass, mount onto the same red pins, made it very easy to assemble and looks great. everything mounted in the body that needs to be, we can now mount the body to the chassis. This ended up being a surprisingly easy process. It just went together. Uh, I don't remember very many kits up going together quite so easily. There was a little bit of um, stress in the front end, but once I got it seated in the correct position, it just went together beautifully. While that cures, we can move on to the hood. I liked that the grill in the hood was molded as a separate piece so that you could glue it in separately, paint it separately, and have a very sharp, crisp paint line when looking at it from the top side.
the glued hood parts have cured, we can install the hood into the body. Watch how easily this hood just snaps into place. It's a combination of good kit engineering uh, and also my own preparation processes. The edges of the hood were sanded before I went to the primer paint and clear coat process to just to take a little material off to allow for the thickness of the primer, paint, and clear coat. Otherwise, you get panels that don't fit well and then if you have to sand the edges after they're already painted, you end up with not as good a finish. So always make sure in your body preparation stages that you sand the edges of the hoods, doors, trunks, anything that opens, so that there is a little bit of wiggle room to allow for the primer, paint, and clear coat that you will be applying. With the application of the side view mirrors, adjustment of a few decals, there she sits. Let's go over to the slideshow. included uh, quite a few pictures of this car because it just looks so fantastic from every angle. I, uh, I can't stop looking at it. It's beautiful. The Ravel did a great job on this with the proportions of the body. Uh, the kit goes together easy. It's, it's just a wonderful kit, so I highly recommend it. The um, shine that I put on this was, it's my standard lacquer clear, but I did spend some extra time uh, wet sanding and polishing and smoothening so that I could get the reflection that you're going to see in a couple of shots here of the Ravel manual. I included that just to show off the shine. So that does it for the Ravel 2016 Corvette Stingray. Thank you for tuning in to Angelo's Workbench. Coming up in my next series is going to be the Foos Designs Custom Cadillac Eldorado, recently released by Ravel. So that's coming up next. So come on back and check out my videos, check out my playlist, like them, love them, share them. Helps me out greatly. Thanks again.